I got an invitation to play Quinerto Golf Course in the desert with T Popo and G Popo. This place seems to be super famous, and you can see why when you play the course. But what I find is that the golf course doesn't matter, it's the vibe with the people you're playing with. These two legends are ex Bangkokians and made Arizona their home. They're a super couple, and this was a fun round. The greens are slick here at Quinerto, so let's see how dodgy my putting will be, or if I can start figuring it out before pebble. My philosophy on the first tee is to almost always hit an iron. We have to hit what makes us comfortable on the first tee. The decade system by Scott Someone says if the landing area is 65 yards wide, hit the driver. Well, Scotty doesn't know, my driver can miss it 65 yards wide of that, and End up in the desert. In Arizona, the ball's been going longer, so I'm happy with longer approach shots into the greens. If I can get the ball to between 140 and 175 yards to the hole, I can hit an 8, 9 or pitching wedge approach. There you go, come on up. Look at that thing. Wow. Stop, stop, stop. Still just keeps going. That's a lot quicker than ryegrass. <laughs> Nice par, beautiful. Two holes join at the hip like Siamese twins, so it's super wide for my tee shot. I can pump the driver and whatever shape comes out will be fine. I could hit a 3-iron 233 yards, but only from the fairway I was supposed to be on. My, my feet are below the ball, so I have to grip down. That means a loss of yardage. The trees in front are too high to clear in that short space. I know my trajectory. The best case with a 3-iron is me falling onto my back foot to elevate the ball and leave myself 60 yards into the green. The worst case is always a bogey or more. I need to practice better decision making on the road to Pebble Beach. Decision making is its own game and I need to be more mindful. I can't go to Pebble as Jimmy Big Bollocks and limp home with a 93. Look at you. Ah, it's a beaut. That is a beaut. That's the one I like. That is a beaut. Right in the middle, man. What's the weakest shot in your bag, player? Mine must be the 125 yard shot. It's just outside the gap wedge and too short for a pitching wedge. When I think I hit a great partial P wedge, it goes 135 or 110 pulled to the left. Inside P wedge range is going to be crucial for the big day at Pebble. Let's take the feedback from the shot and keep fine tuning as we go. Coming back. Give me some love, give me some love. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, hold on. You're all right. Thanks for a paint there, buddy. Hey, you okay? You're just on the edge of that bunker line, depending on if we can keep going. That's your trust. I saw your video. That's your trusty two iron. This is the trusty two iron now known as. There you go, man. Okay. Great. That's good. To be. Nice. Oh, there you go. Stick it. Right at it. Stick it. Coming in hot. Nice. Here, hey, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. That's a shot.
Quinerto got its name exactly as you think it did. Quinerto is the Spanish word for 15. There were initially only 15 holes built. It was Rhys Jones' first ever design, and he misheard 18 for 15 and built only 15 holes. Yes, the very same famous son of Bobby Jones from Legend of Bagavance. Three holes were later added by his daddy. Forget about it. Tyson, you made it! Unreal. <laughs> what, a, what a shot! Oh, that's on it. No, that's short. Is it short? That's gonna be short. No! <laughs> in the face, but it'll do. That's all right. Land again? There it is. All right. <laughs> to that bush. <laughs> oh, that is ugly. Your alignment wants you to... Nicely done, bud. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful ball flight. It's that easy, huh? See that? I stand over there. <laughs> oh my and... god. That's better. I'm standing over there warning for my kids in the It changed my mind when Did I came. Did it really? Look at when look I down came here. this when I came this other hole. You can see it from that yeah. side. It looks like. <laughs>
in the desert. You're right in the middle of that, the club, the, the line is right in the middle of that bunker. You didn't yeah. make it, but beautiful song. Yeah, that's what I thought when I met that. When you're surrounded by such natural beauty, who cares about the score? In America, everywhere I've been is quiet and tranquil. I live in Thailand, and it's never quiet for longer than a few minutes at a time. In America, the trust in the constant livability of the place brings you so much peace. I trust that where I'm staying, it will be quiet and won't be shattered by some noise made by someone nearby. The lack of petty nuisances in America really helped reset my mind. Being in the desert was calming as everything is still and beautiful. Lifting all those little stresses from my mind allows my brain to open and relax. The scowl on my face melts away and I enjoy golf in a new way. It's not just a challenge to overcome anymore. I'm only thinking of a couple of things like the putting and the wet shots. I'm breathing in freedom and exhaling love. The shots don't mean anything good or bad. I know I'm going to sleep soundly again. I'm just smiling on every shot because I'm in America and everything yeah, is better here. I, I, I have to, to remember something. to be friendly and humane in America, a part of myself that gets lost often. And that's a huge difference. That is a big culture shock, to see almost everyone considering other people on a daily basis. I know I'm going to encounter polite, warm and friendly people. I know I won't be fighting intense traffic on the way home. The cashier is going to greet me. Everyone is going to wish me a good day, even if it's not sincere. At least you're getting acknowledged. Everything works and everything is beautiful. I love this place. You may complain about this or that in America, but I'm in love with it from day one. You'll never know how good you got it until what you got is gone. I'd recommend holding on to it with your life. <laughs> 